and a recent development making waves in the media. Scott Peterson, who was convicted of murdering his wife Lisi and their unborn child in 2000 Fleas, has appeared on camera for the first time in over two decades. This marks a significant moment in his case, as Peterson has consistently maintained his innocence while facing a storm of public and legal scrutiny. In the upcoming documentary series, Face to Face with Scott Peterson, set to premiere on NBC's Peacock platform on August 20th, Peterson, now 51, openly reflects on his past actions and the current state of his case. During the interview, which took place via video call from Mule Creek State Prison in California, Peterson candidly describes himself as a total a whole for his extramarital affairs that occurred before the tragic death of his wife. He admits that his actions were inexcusable, particularly given that Losi was pregnant at the time. Despite this admission, Peterson firmly denies any involvement in the murders of Lassie and their unborn son, Connor. The docu-celleries, which comes amid renewed efforts by the Los Angeles Innocence Project, that is, LAIP, to overturn Peterson's conviction, delves deeply into the case that captivated and horrified the nation. Peterson's conviction, reached in 2004, was based largely on circumstantial evidence, including his multiple affairs and a perceived motive to escape his marital obligations. Prosecutors argued that Peterson had killed Lacey to pursue a future with his mistress, Amber Frey. Peterson's defense, however, contended that Lassie was abducted and that Peterson was wrongfully accused. The series also explores the controversy surrounding Peterson's trial and conviction. Peterson criticized the police investigation as a so-called investigation and expressed regret over not taking the stand during his trial. He believes that if given the chance to present his side, he could prove his innocence. His current legal team has introduced new evidence and is pushing for DNA testing on several items related to the case, aiming to uncover potential flaws in the original investigation. Lacey Peterson's disappearance on Christmas Eve 2002 and the subsequent discovery of her and Connor's remains in San Francisco Bay led to intense media coverage and public interest. Despite the jury's decision and the subsequent death penalty, the California Supreme Court later overturned the death sentence due to improper jury selection, and Peterson was resentenced to life without the possibility of parole. The release of Face to Face with Scott Peterson and the parallel documentary American Murder, Lacey Peterson, premiering on Netflix, aim to revisit and re-examine the case from multiple angles. They promise to provide new insights and stir conversations about the evidence, the investigation, and the impact on those involved. As Peterson continues to claim his innocence, the public and legal community remain divided. The case remains a poignant example of how complex and emotionally charged criminal trials can be and how the quest for justice can evolve over time. Stay subscribed for more videos.